This week, the world's largest volcano has become active again and has started to slowly ooze lava down its sides. Mauna Loa in Hawaii is erupting for the first time in many of our lifetimes. It last erupted in 1984 and is erupting again now in 2022 after a very unusually large break. This eruption is something that volcanologists and experts are keeping a very close eye on. This is the longest break that this active volcano has taken, which means that volcanologists are wary. The reason this is referred to as the largest volcano in the world is because it is. It is wider than its tall, making it a type of volcano called a shield volcano. It is the largest active volcano in size and like some big fiery iceberg, a large part of this volcano is actually submerged and is underwater. This huge beast covers an overall area of over 5,200 square kilometers and even though above waters it is just 4,000 meters high, from base to summit it is over 9,000 meters high which technically makes it taller than even Mount Everest. The Mauna Loa volcano is in a geologically active zone and is fed by the Hawaii hotspot which is a volcanically and tectonically active zone. This volcano emerged out of the ocean about 400,000 years ago, but we know through historic and paleo records that it has been erupting for at least 700,000 years regularly. This break from 1984 to today was the longest break that the volcano has ever taken that we are aware of. But there's more. Sicily's Mount Etna has also started to flow a little bit of lava and volcanologists are thrilled. Let's see more about these two active volcanic eruptions that are going on today. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. Firstly, the two volcanic flows are not related. Etna is not erupting because Mauna Loa is. Volcanoes don't work that way and if that day arrives where they do, we will probably be worrying quite a bit. But for now, these two eruptions happening together is just a coincidence. We'll come to Etna later, but Mauna Loa has now begun to draw large crowds spurring tourism, which as an industry had been suffering in Hawaii since the pandemic began. Mauna Loa is one of the world's most closely and intensely monitored volcanoes, at least since 1912. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has been monitoring it. This volcano formed when the Pacific Plate moved over the Hawaiian hotspot in the Earth's mantle about 80 million years ago. This led to five major sub-aerial volcanoes that the major island of Hawaii is made up of. This volcano has been recorded extensively in history and through paleogeographical data. If we see historic eruptions of this volcano, we can see that it has erupted in a pattern of approximately once in every five years. This break was the longest that it took. So if this has been erupting all this while, has it affected humans and human life? Well, not always. Humans have learned to live with this slow volcano and it generally seems to be safe because it typically doesn't have explosive events. It just slowly leaks lava in what is called an effusive eruption, which humans can manage. This rock is called basalt. In fact, this kind of flow is how half of Indian subcontinent was created. This happened when Deccan traps began to erupt about 66 million years ago and the basaltic flow from the rocks just formed newer and newer layers of land. The Deccan traps were active just before the asteroid struck Earth, killing the dinosaurs. But effusive flows haven't always been the norm with Mauna Loa. It did blow up explosively in 1843, an eruption that was very well documented. Since then, it has erupted about 33 to 34 times and in 1926 as well as in 1950, it did destroy villages and settlements in Hawaii. Since 1950, there have just been three eruptions. One was in 1975 at the summit, the other was the 1984 rift eruption and the third eruption is what is happening right now. The 1984 eruption was also very well documented before the volcano went completely silent before this eruption. 
Today, the flow is well away from human settlements, but it does cause an interesting and disturbing phenomenon called VOG or volcanic fog. VOG is formed when particulate matter from the volcano and volcanic gases which are toxic react with the atmosphere and water. Different oxides of sulfur from the volcanoes mix with oxygen and moisture in the air and result in sulfuric acid and other sulfates. Naturally, this is quite deadly for life. We might not have heard of the term VOG before, but it is a very commonly used term in Hawaii because the phenomenon is extremely pervasive on the island. The Kilauea volcano erupted continuously from 1983 to 2018 and there was persistent VOG that the citizens of Hawaii had to deal with. It of course leads to health problems like headaches, lung injuries, asthma and general loss of energy in humans and animals. But it also hurts the environment and it reduces visibility all around creating a major hazard. But at the moment, VOG levels are relatively low, although citizens have been asked to avoid staying outdoors. The flow of lava here is effusive, meaning it is a slow flow, almost a leak. This means the volcano is currently not expelling pyroclastic material out in large quantities, such as rock and ash, which are more deadly than a slow lava flow. Pyroclastic material gets pushed to thousands of meters away and are way more dangerous because of the speeds at which they move. Mauna Loa saw magma first pool inside the magma chamber or a deep pit that is inside the volcano, nearly 200 meters under the ground. This covers 15 square kilometers of area. The rifts or fissures formed on the rocks along the sides of the volcano and this leads to bursts of lava like a geyser or a geyser coming from it. These fountains of lava can be over 30 meters in height and the lava then just flows down the side of the mountains at over a thousand degrees Celsius. An interesting fact to note here is that geologists and volcanologists have been collecting something called Pele's hair. These are large strands of hair like volcanic glass. The lava during the eruption gets stretched out and forms these thin strands and the wind often carries these strands several kilometers away, depositing them on things like antennae. It is named for Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes and is formed in volcanoes around the world. Now, is the Mauna Loa eruption dangerous or will this become dangerous soon? Frankly, at this moment, experts are not worried. With effusive flows, it is very easy to just get out of the way. Additionally, the flow is not down west of the volcano where the nearest towns are located, but is instead in the northeast direction, safely away from human settlements at a very slow 40 meters an hour pace. The only worry for Hawaiian citizens now is air quality. Residents have been advised to avoid outdoor activity and shut their windows when indoors. Now we come to Etna and there isn't much to say here. This week, an eruptive fissure opened at the volcano, which is located in Sicily. It is producing a small lava flow that is coming down the valley currently. Etna at the moment is also covered in snow and whenever lava makes contact with snow, it causes an explosion of steam and water with overheated water just flashing to steam. Before Etna started its lava flow, it recorded high values of volcanic tremors or quakes on instruments. This indicates that a high volume of magma was moving upwards through ducts that are located inside the volcano. The volcano started its flow about four days ago with very small quantities of lava and has only reached a mere few hundred meters in length. Even though Etna is among the most active volcanoes in the world today, it hasn't really gotten any further than this at this point. In the past, Etna has destroyed towns and villages and interrupted railways and caused a lot of hassle. But for now, this volcano poses no risk. Both volcanoes, though, are continuing to be extremely interesting to experts who are learning a tremendous amount from both eruptions for now.